Welcome to another uh, Snakebird solution video. Uh, this is going to be level star five. Okay. So this will kind of talk through, we could talk through from the end and work our way backwards, but I think for this one, we'll actually just go forwards because it's actually just a bunch of small problems. Uh, so the first thing to notice is we have these warp spots uh, and we need to get from one to the other. Uh, there's there's only a couple ways you can end up going through. Um, demonstrate like this does not work. Uh, we make it through, but there's no way to get out. So that's not it. Uh, I mean, just looking at it, you can see that the head of the bird has to go here. If the head of the bird is at any of the other three spots, you're, you're stuck. Um, so the head has to go here. And the, the only question is which way is the bird rotated? We tried this way and it doesn't work. Um, so then the only other way is to go like that. So to do that, we need to, uh, start here and then go down and around and to do that uh we will use the other bird to, to prop us up into position oh i've already messed it up <laughs> okay <laughs> Now the other bird has propped us up, the blue bird, that we can go through this way. All right, great. Now we need to get the blue bird through as well. Uh, there's no way for the blue bird to, to, to make that shape, to, to be like this, uh, without something to stand on, something three tall, like it was when the red bird went through. So we have this this piece uh, that happens to be three tall, so we want it to go over here. Um, so to do that, we're going to push it over with the red bird, uh, but we need to catch it with the blue bird. So it's going to fall here. So blue bird has to go at least out to here. If the blue bird is sticking out this way, uh, there's no way for it to get it back. Since the blue bird is of length four, it's sticking two, two units out, and there's no way for it to get back in. So instead, we need to use the red bird to push it back. And we do that by having a little ledge, or a little lip, uh, for the red bird to push against. So let's position uh, the blue bird. There we go. And that gives us a little ledge so that that when we push with the red bird, we can we can bring it back. Okay. Now that we've set it up, uh, we can send both birds through. Not like that. bird can independently just go through. Oops. Okay, so we need to move this guy out of the way, which we can do now. Okay. Now we need to get across. This is, we're launching off from here, <laughs> here under the red bird. Um, that's one, two, three, four. So by itself, it can't get across uh, the, the spike. Here, we'll demonstrate. The red bird by itself. Can't get across. All right. 
Uh, but if he sits on the bluebird. Actually, even here is sufficient. Now it's fine. Okay, so we want to get the bluebird across. And again, uh, the bluebird basically just needs to rest. The bluebird needs to rest. It's going to be four long here. And so it just needs red to be here. Wow, you can't really see that color, can you? Let me change colors. Okay. Blue is going to go across here, and it basically needs to rest its rest on the red bird here, so it doesn't touch the spike. So we just need to make space for it here, and, and have something for it to, to rest its head on. Okay, so this seems like it would be a good solution. The problem is, at this point, uh, there's nowhere for blue to go, except for red to exit, and then blue dies. So that actually doesn't work. So maybe instead, we have red go down. But now red can't get to the exit. And blue could exit, but then now red can't get out. So that actually doesn't work either. So you might think, well, that's that's the only other possibility. And again, red can't get out without falling. Okay. So, uh, it's actually not possible to exit uh, in this scenario. Instead, there's no way for red and blue to get out. Uh, with this configuration. What we need is we need a way for blue to get out, going across the top, and then red needs to be able to also get out. So how does red need to be positioned? Red has to not be in the top at all, and red can only be here and below in these, these squares. So what if so this would whoops basically we need a way for red to have its head right here and then the rest of its body is in the spaces over here and then after blue exits red can just go up and across So specifically, we can have Red's head here, and have it just hang off. I mean, and when I say Red, you know, the two are actually interchangeable. So how do we do that? Well, it looks like we can just stack the birds, and then one bird can go here, and one bird can go here. Uh, and then, so we can have the, the bird on top. So, let's do that. So red is no longer red just needs to get out of the way. And the blue can get in. And then when red drops, we just need to make sure blue doesn't hit the spike. So that works. Now blue is positioned uh, uh, in a way that he can exit. Red can go through. Now blue can exit. And that's it. Alright, thanks for watching.